Hey guys, what's going on dudes? It is David here and we are back with another video. Now in this video guys, we're going to be talking about something very, very different than I've recently talked about before because most of the time you see sports channels or you see me talk about the most sports when it comes to NASCAR, when it comes to NFL, when it comes to all bunch of different type of stuff. But I really wouldn't be here where I am without a certain thing and that is college. Now, I've, as you guys know, I went to City College for Lauderdale, and I have graduated from City College for Lauderdale. It was well, it became it was official. I graduated last year in December, but I, um, I got my uh, what's it called? I got my graduate. I got my degree basically last Friday when I went to go pick it up from City College due to what's going on the pandemic. They was not going to be able to have a graduation, or I think they may still have a graduation. I have no idea about it. Um, but I just wanted to basically talk in this video, talk about basically my experience with City College and how I, how I, you know, like, felt through the, the whole department and everything like that, and basically what went on there. So I started City College in, what was it, I think it was the year, I think it was 2017, the same year I graduated Nova High School. I graduated Nova in June, I started City College in, uh, in, in October, I was about to say August on my birthday. <laughs> But yeah, City College was one of my favorite moments of my life. To be honest, is one it, I love that college, and I hope I really hope I could be an ambassador for this college, because no matter what, I will. Pr if anybody is looking for an opportunity to get into anything that has to do with the classes that I will eventually get into that they have or the programs that they have there, then I will definitely recommend you go to City College for Lauderdale. I think it's off of Commercial Boulevard and Northwest Twenty First Street. Um, so yeah, if you guys want to go check it out, that's where it is. And if you guys want to check out City College, their website will be down. The link to their website will be down in the description down below. So yeah, 2017 to 2019 was my official time at City College. Tw December 2019 was my last year at City College. Well, last month at City College. And during that last few months, of course, I did my internship at Flex Media, Flex FM, and I very much loved the time I did there because I love I love that radio station and. If you guys want to check that out, there all the links to Flex FM will be also down in the description down below. Now, when it came to City College and the broadcast department, which is the broadcast, which is the department I was in, um, I had two professors. I had Dr. Van Putin and Dr. Lewis. Dr. Lewis was the head of broadcasting. He's been there for a while, and I just want to say this: I've learned a lot of stuff when I came when I got to City College that I wouldn't have learned on my own because. When it came to radio and TV production, I had no idea anything about that. Of course, I still have my YouTube channel, but I did not really take it seriously until I think it was after I got into City College, to be honest. And yeah, I would not have learned anything. I would not have known anything about anything like with radio production because now I could do TV production. I could do radio production. I know. Well, I know, I know how to use certain things when it comes to radios because I I was already when I whenever I went to City College I was always I was always using one thing and that was Adobe I was either using Adobe Audition Adobe After Effects Adobe Premiere which is what I used to um do my videos on but now I actually do them myself on my phone because I don't have Adobe Premiere right now on my computer anymore unfortunately. So, yeah, when it came to being at City College, I knew how to do radio production. I actually got an award at City College for best day in the life of a City College student, and I'm very, very happy. I also managed to get this award, this thing, because each each month they have a, or I guess each term, they have a student of the quarter for the term. And for the spring term of 2018, I was a broadcasting student of the quarter. Of course, the people that were in my classes, and I think I have like I had like four, four or five other people that were in my classes that did eventually get, or I, before me, did get the City College Student of the Quarter. But this is one. This is really, really special to me. I still have it, and I will cherish it this forever because it's one of the few things I've ever gotten from City College. Now, when it came to what I loved about City College, I I did love the classes and I loved the teachers that I had there. Of course, I loved my pro professors that I had. Dr. Lewis and Dr. Van Poon, because without them, I would not have, not have learned anything that I, that, I, that I learned now, or I know now. Like, when, like I said, when it came to radio, nothing about radio. I knew nothing at all about radio. I didn't know how to edit radio. I didn't know how to produce a radio show. I didn't even know how to produce a TV show or TV commercial. And I did not know anything about cameras, but now I do know at least a lot more than I, I knew at first before I started at City College, and I'm very, very thankful of everybody that helped me to do that. And I think, if I if I remember right, I actually produced a, 
I forgot what it was called, but I have a I have like a minute eleven video on my phone of me talk of me like doing like a I forgot I, complete, what I completely forgot what it's called, but I'll probably have it right here after the video is done because I completely forgot what it's called. But I do have that video on my phone. I really wanted to post it in the cut past couple days, but I didn't. I didn't. But that is something that can help me like get into future things that I want to because my dream is to become a sports broadcaster. If you guys didn't know that, and my dream is basically to be with Fox Sports. Because I, I actually, well, Fox Sports or ESPN, because I, I just love talking about sports. I've always loved talking about sports from a young age, so I just wanted to get into that. And City College was an opportunity for me to do that. Of course, I turned down going to BC in order to go to City College. And I'm very happy with that decision of turning down BC. Because at BC, I would probably just waste my time doing nothing there. And now at City College, I've learned a lot of stuff. I've met a bunch of people. I've learned I've learned stuff about other other departments and other classes because I did have some classes that were in the business department. I did have some classes that were like that had to do with like surgical tech or some something around there. And in my final term, there were a couple of teachers I had. I, I remember I had Dr. Sweetland, and he was a very respectable teacher, and I very much appreciate him. There was a. Uh, 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 I think that I, I'm trying to remember most of the teachers' names, but that's the only way I can remember. Dr. Sweetlin was also a good. Dr. Sweetlin, like I said, was a very, very good teacher. He was the, he was basically the program director of the business program, so it was basically a very good thing to be in that class. And I did meet some new people there in that class, so it's just, so, it's just all about these opportunities. Of course, I had personal development. I had personal, um, professional strategies. I had a whole bunch of things. I, I learned how to do like an interview like if I was to go into like a professional job and interview what to do and what not to do and I just thankful for those type of moments now when it came to city college events that I very much love when it came to the actual college in general there was four college there was four col this the, there were four things that the college was able to do and that I, that I participated basically in almost everything the first event that the city college thing city college for Lauderdale had was the City College Awards, which is basically awards for like GPA, attendance, um, you know, I never missing a single day of class, which is basically the same thing as attendance. But I was able to, I think I, I think one one time I got a perfect attendance award because I never missed a single day of class, and I don't think I ever got that back. I don't ever think I, I'm sorry, but I, I don't think I ever like did, got that award again for perfect attendance. I never really got the GPA, and I was completely fine with that because I just, I'm just happy to have graduated college. I'm the first uh, son of my mother and my dad to officially graduate college, so I'm very, very happy for that. The second event was the City College Cook-Off, which I think happened in my la second last term or last term, which is basically a cook-off, like a chili cook-off between the whole bunch of different departments because he, there was a lot of departments. It was library, you had um, career services, you had and, um, other departments like uh, EMS, EMT, and all those type of things. And yeah, they participated in the cook-off. You were supposed to like put your vote for a chili. I think, I, I think if I remember right, I voted for a chili number two or three, or chili A, chili B or C. So it was just really, really interesting to see that, that they had that. They had the Christmas tree competition. You were supposed to look at each tree because they had a Christmas tree set up. This is this was definitely around, like, my last term. And the Christmas tree competition basically was, um, you know, each, well, some departments designed a Christmas tree, and you were supposed to vote on which Christmas tree you looked the best. Of, I think I voted for the winter Christmas, which I think was the anesthesia, depart anesthesia tech department. I'm not really sure. I can't. I, I'm not really sure if I remember that right, but I think I think it was. I definitely vote for the white Christmas because that tree looked absolutely beautiful. And if you want, they took a raffle, and if you got like got a raffle, you were able to take that tree home or give it away if you if somebody really needed a tree. So that was very very good. That's something City College did. And then the City College raffle, which is basically opportunities to win a whole bunch of different things. You could win like you can win some stuff like pens or pencils. You could win movie tickets that they had. And yeah, those are just some of the events that City College had that I very much loved to to be a part of. Now, when it came to the programs that City College was in that that I wasn't in, the program they have a lot they have a lot of programs. I just re I just recently researched this and I, I completely forgot that they had this many programs. The in going and followed they have EMS, EMT, private investigation, which is what my friend Malik is in. They have business, they have vet technology, they have paralegal, they have ally health, they have anesthesia tech. They have surgical tech, they have nursing, and they have medical assistance. And I'm pretty sure there's like, I, th I think about two or three more programs that City College does have in. 
but it was just it was just an amazing amazing time at City College. Like I'm I'm grateful for every moment I had at City College. I never really had like a down moment when I was at the college because I was always just very happy to be there and getting to do stuff, getting to learn stuff about what I you know like eventually want to do. And if you guys want to call us, like you know, like can th- can help you like get straight out into the business that you want to be in. City College is definitely one of the colleges that you need to take a look in. It's a very, it's not even a big college. It's like it's it's a it's a, I say it's an average size college. The classes are you know like about an average size class. It's not like going to like UF and you have a whole bunch of students in one class. I probably say it's a maximum of like ten to twenty students that will be in the class, or possibly even more. So if you guys want to do something like that, then you definitely can check it out. And when it came to the people that I met there, oh my god, I met so much people at the college. And I'm very, very appreciative for everything that I had at City College. And I'm just, I just love every single moment of it. Like Malik, obviously, I knew Malik from Nova, hot, from Nova. And I'm, I was very surprised to see him go there. But of course, I met a lot of other people. I don't really want to say their names. Um, I think one was Jason, one was Isayana, one was Valeria. So it was, it, there was a whole bunch of other people that I met at City College, and I'm just thankful for everything that I'm, I did at the college, and I'm very, very happy to have graduated from the college. And yeah, I will probably have a picture on screen right here of me with my diploma. I don't have my diploma; it's downstairs right now. You know, like be, it was basically framed, and now it's downstairs, and I, it's probably gonna stay downstairs for the coming months. But I'm just very, very happy to happy to have been at this college, and I'm very, very appreciative for everything and every teacher and every professor that I had at this college. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys want to check out City College or Flex FM, their links will be in the description down below. Make sure to check them out. Make sure you go to check out City College's website. That will be down in the description also down below. But anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. I'll be posting more sports content now after this video for the rest of you to go see. But anyway, guys, I will see you guys all later. Peace.